What's up everybody, welcome to Edixer. In this video, I'll show you how do I color grade my videos in DaVinci Resolve. So for that, let's jump into the studio. So now we are in our studio. So this was one of my most requested video on my channel. So let's do it. We are going to grade this clip. So this was shot on a red camera. So as you can see, this is R3D red red lock film clip. So the first thing we need to do is go to settings and go to color management and change the color signs from, from the Vinci YRGB to the Vinci YRGB color managed and hit save. You see there is subtle change in the clip. Now drag this to the timeline. So this is the clip. Now let's go to the color page, click here and this is a single node and this is the node area. A node is like an adjustment layer in the Premiere Pro or the Final Cut Pro. So if we keep adding effects to the nodes, it will get stacked up to the final image, right? So now let's make a simple node structure. So for that, click on this node and hit Alt S to make a serial node and make 5, 6 and click on the second node and hit all and p to make a parallel node okay click here using middle mouse button to drag this now let's go to fx so in vinci resolve if you open lots you can see on under the flame looks there are some very good professional flame lots available but the problem is this lots will take input only in cineon lock flame color space so for that we cannot just drag and paste these lots it will not look good so for that, what we need to do is change the color space of this clip from Rec 709 to the Cineon Lock Flame. Why Rec 709? Because we already changed the color space from Red Lock Flame to Rec 709 by changing the color space from the Vinci YRGB to the Vinci YRGB Color Managed. Okay. So now let's add color space transform to the node number seven. Click and drag here and go to input color space that is rec 709 and go to input gamma to gamma 2.4 and go to output color space is also rec 709 and output gamma is cineon log film you see you get this log like washed out image so now if we add this lots we will get the correct output so let's see which lot we can use we are going to use this maybe this one this is codec 2383 d55 double click on this and we can apply this lot now let's balance this clip hit on the fx to dismiss and right click to clean up node graph so you can see the clean view and go to node number six and let's rename this node it's balance and this one is saturation so now let's balance this clip so this is on too much yellow side you can see on the scope that the highlights of the red is on the brighter side so we need to reduce the red from the highlight so for that go to the gain gain is highlight and then drag it towards the blue side so not that much so before after before after so now let's add some contrast and also the highlights are too much blowing out so for that we need to click here and drag the gain gain is highlight like this you can see that our subject is getting darker so we'll take care of that later no need to worry about that increase the mid tone a little bit yeah so this is a good point so now let's add some saturation to this clip so there are plenty of methods to add saturation to your clip you can add like this but i learned one professional method from Kulin kelly the great colorist i'm not sure i'm pronouncing it right or not so sorry for that you can right click on the saturation go to color space and select hsv and again you right click go to the channels and you turn off channel 1 and channel 
3 and then what I'm going to do you just increase the gamma and you can see the saturation is coming but like very very smooth so before and after you can see the saturation is very eye pleasing so that's the method so now let's make a secondary window to make the character pop go here and click on this window and hit a round window and drag this like this and now make it soft like the feather of this window and increase the gamma a little bit and also increase the gain a little bit and increase the contrast also a little bit like this like this so now it's looking good and now let's add an outside window hit alt o to add an outside window so this window will affect all the areas except the this window so if we hit shift h you can see this window is affecting these areas and this window is affecting only these areas again hit shift h and just decrease the overall brightness offset like this so it, the main character is now really popping you can see so now let's see before and after so you can see it's making a big difference so you can go one step ahead and add some little bit of glow and halation to this clip so how we can add that so now click on the last node and hit alt s for another node hit two times so now search here glow and drag to the this one so this is too much so we need to control this we need to make the spread a little bit and we need to play with the threshold to make it little bit glowy not too much like this so you can go to the composite type and also use soft light so spread spread like this so if we go before and after so it is a bit too much you can dial down by using global blend so this is like opacity of this particular node so if we take it down it's nothing you can see nothing is changing so we'll keep it at around 60 percent 60.6 so before after before after you can see you can see the image is really glowing and it's looking very beautiful so next let's add some halation go to halation and add here so you can obviously see this is too much the skin became red so increase the threshold a little bit more and you can see here the change is making so before after before after so it makes a soft edge glow around the subject not only around the subject you can see also here this soft glow to make it more quote and quote cinematic so this halation effect will make the edges little bit softer so the last not the least we are going to add some film grain to this clip to finish it off so for that we are going to add this film grain on the fast node search for film grain and drag and drop you can see this is 16 mm and let's change it to 35 mm for finer grains yeah so before after before after so this film grain will add some texture to our images so now let's see before and after this is before this is after this is before this is after thank you guys for watching this video i really hope this tutorial was helpful if you like the video please drop a like if you want to see more color grading tutorials like this subscribe and hit the bell icon so next time when i upload you will get notified i'll see you guys in my next video till then stay safe stay happy peace